It's been said many times that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But when it comes to your marketing email, no one seems to have a problem with making a snap decision. Now using questions in your email subject lines is a great way to get your audience to engage with your message and increase your email open rates. Instead of forcing your ideas on an unprepared reader with a definitive statement, using a question invites the reader to participate and provide the answer. This give and take makes the reader a partner in the sales cycle instead of an object. If the reader has a feeling of control over the process, it makes them more likely to trust you and continue reading the rest of your pitch. Now questions also feel incomplete on their own. Using a question in your subject line will inspire readers to open the email in search of an answer. It is against human nature to simply leave a question unanswered if it is something they care about or is something which can have an impact on their lives. Have a think about this with the following subject line. Learn to speak Spanish in a month. Now compare this subject line with the following. Is it possible to learn to speak Spanish in a month? Now most people will be skeptical of the first subject line. It's too forceful and pushy, and they would distrust a promise that large, assuming it's too good to be true. So, it must be a scam. The second subject line includes the same promise, but wrapped up in a question. So instead of telling the audience they can learn a new language, i.e. Spanish, in just a month, we're just asking them if they think it is possible. Now in this case, even if the person thinks to themselves, no, it's not, they're curious to see if maybe they are wrong. Because you haven't tried to force your message on the reader, they are now open to hearing more. If you use this technique, then the first part of your email content should directly address the question you posed in the subject line. For the example that I have given, you would start by acknowledging the reader's skepticism about learning Spanish in a month, then turn it into an opportunity to gently convince them that they may be wrong. You could say something like this. If you're like most people, the idea of learning a language like Spanish in 30 days seems outrageous. Even if it were possible, it would probably require so much sacrifice and pain that the results just wouldn't be worth it. However, if you can put aside your doubts for one moment, we want you to know about a revolutionary approach to language learning that can really help you speak a new language fluently in just one month. Now you have quickly and concisely answered your reader's concern with a credible and realistic statement, which will ensure that they remain engaged and increase the chances of them clicking on your call to action. Asking a question in your subject line can be incredibly effective at drawing readers in, especially if you're asking a question that you know is relevant to your recipient's buyer persona and gives them a compelling reason to click on it. Now, whether it taps into their relationships, their jobs, hobbies, wealth, or business. For example, you might try the following. What's the best way to handle a tantrum? Now, this was a subject line used in a well-known parenting website's email. Now, the reader may think that they know the answer, so may click on the email to gain validation for their approach. Or, in many cases, they may have no idea, and of course, most kids have tantrums, so this really is a compelling reason to look at the email as parents would love to know how to handle their kids' tantrums. Are you making these SEO mistakes? Again, another very compelling email subject line. The reader will be curious to see if they fall into that category of making those same mistakes. Now for business owners who run their own websites, SEO is a major contributing factor to their success, so anything that they can do to improve is invaluable to them. Why are your customers not buying from you? Now with every type of business, there will be situations where a customer decides not to buy, and this can be for many different reasons. So again, as long as the email is focused on recipients who have customers, it creates a relevant 
and compelling reason to open it. A similar example is, where is your website going wrong? Can you afford to miss this? Now this subject line is a little different from the previous ones as they were much more focused on a particular area which was relevant to the subscriber's persona and of course it was that relevance that led them to being a subscriber in the first place. But this question leaves an air of mystery to the email which of course is a compelling reason in itself for a client to click on your email and can be a good technique when used in the right setting. And this of course will depend on firstly, what type of business you run, and secondly, how trusted your sender email address is, and how well your customer knows you. This is essentially because these types of mysterious subject lines are often used on phishing emails and scams. However, if you are well known to your subscribers, then you can effectively employ mysterious question techniques such as this. Asking readers a question in your subject line can immediately engage them and create an instant dialogue. But try to keep your questions open-ended so your reader can't answer them with a quick no. For example, if your subject line simply asks, do you want to lose weight? You'll get a yes or no answer. Sure, if your business is purely aimed at health and fitness, you might get some takers. But if your subscribers are more of a mixed bag, then you will likely lose a lot of interest from such a closed question. On the other hand, if you ask, what are the top five things that you can start doing today to get fitter and healthier? You are asking them a question that they most probably do not know the answer to, and despite not everyone wanting to lose weight, most people are quite keen to get fitter and healthier. It creates intrigue and appeals more to the subscriber. Here is an exercise designed to get you in the right mindset for generating great questions in your email subject lines, which are firstly relevant to your recipient, and secondly, gives them a compelling reason to click on your email. So, I'm gonna give you three different business scenarios from three different companies and industries. For each scenario, the email marketeer has a message that they would like to communicate to their client. However, they are unsure how to word their subject line in order to give the client a compelling reason to open the email. It is down to you to write that subject line for them in the form of a relevant, open-ended and compelling question which encourages the client to click on the email. So here is your first scenario. Now Patchett Limited is a wound care company selling bandages to the medical industry. The message that they want to get out to their customers is that they would like to tell their customers about their new eco-friendly bandages. Now these are the first type of bandages that are environmentally friendly but still as effective as other bandages offered by their competitors. And of course, they would like to offer their customers a free sample of this new product. So your task is to write an email subject line for them, which encourages their customers to click on the email. So you can now pause this video for a few minutes while you think about the type of subject line that Patchett Limited might want to adopt. Scenario two, Pickled Eggs R Us is a company selling pickled eggs to their consumers. Now the message that they would like to convey is that they would like to outline the benefits of pickled eggs to their customers, focusing on the high protein content of pickled eggs and market them as a health food product. They want to dispel the myths that pickled eggs are seen as unhealthy. So therefore, your task is to write an intriguing email subject line for them, which encourages their customers to click on the email to learn more about the health benefits of pickled eggs. Now once again, please take a few moments to pause the video and think about how you would write this subject line. And then you can simply write down all of the different ideas for a subject line for Pickled Eggs R Us. Scenario three. Now Social Media Matters Limited is a social media marketing agency focusing on running Facebook ads for their clients. 
Now the message within their email is that they have discovered a novel way of doubling engagement with their Facebook ads based on a new loophole with the Facebook ad campaign tool. Now they can guarantee double the engagement for their clients next advert. So your task is to write an email subject line to encourage the client to click on the email telling them about this new discovery by Social Media Matters and of course their offer. So once again, please pause the video while you think about what subject lines that you will come up with and then just jot them down. Now if you'd like to get some feedback on this exercise then please email me at hello at sidegigjunction.com to ask for a template document which you can simply complete and return to me and I'll be more than happy to provide you with some constructive feedback. Please also feel free to drop your example email subject lines in the comments section below. Now if you found this video useful then please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and you can also check out my website sidegigjunction.com for loads of side hustle ideas and support for your home or small business.